you need to wear protection and you need to keep your paddle up. That's what I've learned. by a pickleball. Uh, either get the heck out the way or get past your hands. That's, that's my philosophy. Well, I try to avoid it and I don't mind getting hit unless it's out of control shots and then they like come at my face. No problem. I got I grew up with two brothers. I can take it. Oh, my thoughts about being hit by a pickleball is that it's inevitable if you're playing hard pickleball, even for advanced players. Um, and so you need to wear protection and you need to keep your paddle up. I like it when people come after me. I like to block it back. Well, I, I would prefer to not get hit. That said, pickleball doesn't hurt nearly as much as a racquetball does. So it's all good as long as somebody's not head hunting. Part of the game, man. Part of the game. It's gotta be, should be below the neck but sometimes it gets up there. I don't get mad. I mean, I did just get mad right there, but it wasn't such a bad. found shoe goo. Now I go through about three a year. It's like when you get a little uh, hole there on your toe that you drag, you can use that to uh, fill it in, paste it over, okay. form a little patch there. And uh, I, I swear to God, I, I didn't think it was going to work. It worked. Tell us about your short shorts. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, today, like today, you don't, today you don't have them My shorts were like down to here. And I just look a little dumpy walking around like a little short person. Uh -huh. I told my wife to get some uh, shorter shorts. So she came home and I, I tried one and they were like, out here. Yeah. <laughs> and I thought I'd try them out until I got so much crap around the pickleball courts. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, Debbie Brinningham loves them. Uh, oh! Okay. She'll tell you. Okay. <laughs> 